What if I told you in order to become a better defender on FIFA, you must first accept that you are going to concede goals? Yes. What do I even mean by that? Guys, FIFA is mental. A lot of FIFA is mental. And once you have this mentality that you are going to concede goals whenever you go into a game, it will give you more composure and more calmness right once you have these two things you will be able to defend better now the gameplay part the mechanical part pay attention to these clips look in this situation i have scored the first goal it's a good opponent he's playing well but what am i doing i'm defending fine but i will concede this goal why this is what we have to see right guys but first i want you to learn this in this situation he has one guy making a run that is Eric Cantona and my Kimpembe is going with him. He is controlled by the AI but I can see that he is following him, right? Any FIFA coach would tell you that you should right stick switch to Kimpembe and stand next to Eric Cantona which isn't wrong but for most players that isn't possible. They do not have this level of right stick switching. So how can you get away with this, right? How can you make up for it? You can make up for it by using second man press like I am doing with Quadrado. He is applying pressure on Messi and I am running back with Lothar Matthias that will make sure that I have some sort of control over my defense and my defense is in shape. Keeping the shape of your defense is the number one rule of defense. Once you can perfect it, you might think you have perfected it, but you have not perfected it, right? Once you perfect keeping the shape of your defense, you will be able to defend like a pro. See, with Matthias, he is my RCM. He will always be my RCM. You should never overlap your LCM with your RCM and vice versa, right? As you can see, he goes for the German cross. I am going to mark it. But what have I done? I have pulled Matthäus out too much. Because I have pulled him out too much, he has a direct passing lane from his CM into his strikers. You can never pull your CMs out of position and give the direct passing lane to your opponent. Right now, he can transition from midfield into offense easily, which he did. I must switch to Tomori and mark his striker. But I am lazy. I do not do that. Quick switching. Number two, quick switching is very important once the opponent is in your box, right? You have to make these little mistakes. But okay, I have the mentality that I'm going to concede a goal. It's fine. I've conceded. So what? Well, next up, it's another dangerous situation for me. But what am I doing? I'm marking the run. Number three, you always must mark the dangerous run with Tomori I am falling back while making sure that Lam is applying second man press so Ribri will be pressed he will not have too much time to think while I am cutting the dangerous run into Cantona therefore he will have to do something else right it's all about keeping your defensive shape now what have I done I have kept my defensive shape right once again this guy is doing step overs I am not pushing up with my CB right what am I doing I am cutting passing lanes always try to cut passing lanes rather than going at the opponent always think where the ball will go next once the opponent has no attacking options that is when you press him right see next up he can pass the ball into jerzinho what am i doing i have switched to kimpembe and i'm going to get the ball back just using jockey technique right guys once you focus on fundamentals your defense will go to the next level but the key is to accept that you're going to concede goals right once again you can see this might sound simple, this might look simple, but with Tomori, I am marking his Messi and I can see with Kimpembe, he has the space towards the black arrow. So what am I going to do? I'm going to switch to Kimpembe quickly and mark this space. See, and I will end up getting the ball back. It's all about seeing where you have the space available. Okay, I am going to concede this goal. Why am I going to concede this goal? This is shambolic defending from me. Just pay attention, right? His Zidane is making a run and with Kimpembe, I think he's going to do the German cross. I am not doing much wrong over here because if I do not cover the German cross, Zidane will be through. But what I need to make sure is once I have marked him, I need to think of another pass, right? You cannot mark a player way too long. The opponent will have some other attacking options, right? See, he doesn't do that. Now he has directly went from his defense into his offense right my midfield is nowhere to be seen i should have quickly switched to lothar Matthias and tried to get the ball back with kimpembe what should i do i should make sure that i switch off of to tomori which i do but now i need to maintain my composure i have pulled off kimpembe now i have to defend with one player right and this is fatal situation i will concede this goal most likely and i do why because i pulled my players out of position you can never pull your players out of position once again he's coming right at us but guys if you learn one thing from this video it's this thing always mark the dangerous runs while your cm second man press the ball carrier right this is game changing not many players do this everyone tells you to do this on youtube but guys you do not understand it you do not perfect it see once he comes down the wing we will make sure that we once again keep our defensive shape pull the offside trap always defend from the front and we end up getting the ball back guys 
guys i have never asked you to subscribe if you want more such content make sure to subscribe i will give you these game changing tips now next year and forever as long as i am here now click here to learn the best attacking meta on fifa 23